Did you have a, hey, rookie, welcome to the NFL type moment? Yeah, honestly, I think it might have been in camp. I remember we were, the twos were going against the one, so it was like, it was Melvin and, and Joey, and I remember throwing a quick screen to the left, and Melvin just out of nowhere just comes and snags him oh, one-handed. I one remember that. That ended practice, too. Yeah, and I was like, was oh, great, guys, yeah, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> All right, welcome back to another episode of Takeout, brought to you by Southern California BMW Centers. Now we got a great episode, especially getting this guy on here. I know you Charger fans love him. I love him. Goes by the name of Justin Herbert. Ever heard of him? Herbert throwing, end zone, touchdown, Keenan Allen! He's the real deal. Definitely a cool guy on and off the field. You know, nothing's ever too big for him or you know, nothing ever gets him too low. And he chose a great local restaurant spot called Shirley's Bagels. But I'm excited to interview Justin. All right, Herb. Got us some Shirley's. That Every, you bad? Everything bagel, bacon, egg, and cheese. Being a Jersey kid. So, thanks for joining us. Gosh, thanks for having me. This looks pretty good. <laughs> So first, I want to thank you for sitting down for your first ever exclusive interview. I was a little nervous before. As you should still be nervous. But let's actually start from the beginning, right? So you were born and raised in Eugene, Oregon, right? Yep, about uh, maybe a couple miles away from the stadium. So it's pretty close. So you knew nothing else. High school football there, and then you went to Oregon. Yep. Is that always the plan? To be honest, I didn't really have a plan. Kind of just went along with it and, I mean, I dreamed about it, but never really thought it was a possibility. Now, you go to Oregon, you light it up. I even remember them, uh, you know, bringing up the leave the leaving early and everything like that. I had a pretty good feel for it, to be honest. I, I kind of knew that I wanted to come back and I think a lot of it came down to just, it's a big step to the next level. And I want, if I wanted to do that, I wanted to be ready. Exactly, you also, you want a Rose Bowl. Pretty cool. Uh, I mean, to stick it, stick it out with the guys we went four and eight my freshman year, same class all the way through, to go 12 and two was pretty cool. So I, I'm, I'm really glad that it, it worked out that way. Let's kind of fast forward a little bit after that Rose Bowl game. Take me through the draft process. Yeah, so I came down here actually is Santa Ana. So I, I stayed pretty much 10, 15 minutes away from this place. Didn't, didn't know I was gonna be here, um, yeah. obviously, but started working out with a quarterback coach and went to the combine, the senior bowl, and it just, it was a blur. Everything's gone by so fast. It seems like it's, it was just yesterday. You know, a picture that went viral. It was you as a little kid rocking a Chargers t-shirt. Were you a Chargers fan or was that just found that shirt laying around? No, I, we actually were. Cause growing up on the West Coast in Oregon, I, I've talked about this a bunch. Like you don't really have an NFL football team in Oregon. Yeah. So you have to kind of pick along the West Coast. And it was the Raiders, the Seahawks, the 49ers and the Chargers. And everyone in Oregon, since we were so close to Washington, they were Seahawks yeah. fans. And so I think me just wanting to be different and, and not just going automatically with the Seahawks. I wanted to make my own decision. My brothers and I, we, we just picked the Chargers. That's cool. And so we had all the, the jerseys and the, the shirts. And so that's, that's another thing where I think we just kind of wanted to be different, I guess. For you to kind of grow up like that, especially you and your brothers rooting for him, and then that sixth overall pick comes. Mr. Telesco is on the other line giving you a call saying you're gonna be in charge. That's gotta be pretty cool. No, it was awesome. I remember sitting there with my family and uh, my, brother, my older brother Mitchell, he was actually the first one to see the name pop up on my phone. And so he knew, and yeah. my, I don't think my, my parents were looking at my phone, so. He, he kind of gets up and starts shaking me, yeah. and then I looked at the phone, and, and we kind of both realized what was going on. That's and so cool. He knew, and um, pretty special. You know, training camp's weird, you know, obviously with COVID protocols and everything. What was that kind of like for you to get to know your teammates? Was it a weird situation, and you, you know, you missing all of this OTAs, you're missing all of the, you know, mini camp stuff. Yeah, I thought it was really weird. Having to kind of introduce yourself over Zoom yeah. was tough. And I remember the first time where the entire offense was together and they were like, well, you, you know, say where you're from. And I was like, I'm Justin, <laughs> nice to meet you guys. And you, you, I mean, it was just kind of weird. But yeah. when you get to camp and you start spending a lot of time with the guys, it, it makes it a lot easier. No doubt. 
And then another character on our team that's kind of taken social media by storm is Dan Feeney. Everyone's starting to call him butt heavy, but we knew this, of course. <laughs> Having a guy kind of like that, especially at the center position, there's always a center quarterback, you know, connection that's a different mm -hmm. bond than everyone else. And Dan Feeney, he's, he's probably been one of the one of my favorites to have, have gotten to know over this yeah. this past couple of months. And an incredible guy on the field, and probably an even better guy off the field. And the way he takes charge of that that offensive line room, and when we're out on the field, he's he's making the mic calls, and he's just smart, and he knows what he's doing. And and to be able to share that huddle with him, uh, you know, I think it's pretty cool. The Chargers about to make their debut at their new home. Well, how about this? Herbert's the quarterback on the first snap. No one knew this was coming. You probably had one of the greatest entrances to the NFL, at least from what I saw, because to the NFL. from my point of view, I'll, I'll start with that. From my point of view, I'm standing over by the kicking net, and uh, I'm watching the offensive huddle. And all of a sudden, I just see, I see 10 out there. I go, is that 10? I go, what, is 10 starting? I go, okay, here we go. For you, you didn't know until what, 30 seconds before the game yeah, started? Yeah, probably not, even. not we were, even. I mean, we were walking down to the kickoff. I'm, I'm young, like, let's go, well, let's, yeah. let's go, boys. <laughs> and Coach Lynn comes out of nowhere and goes, you're in. And I didn't know if that's what we had planned or if like something, I didn't know what was going exactly. on. Exactly, no one knew what was going on. So I was like, I'm going in? <laughs> And so I, I was like, shoot, I got to go get my helmet. I got to warm up. Um, so when I went out there, I think I think it might have been Hunter. Hunter was like, what are you, what, like, what are you doing out yeah, here? Well, you're in the huddle? And I was just like, this is the play. Let's, let's go run it. I actually wanted to quiz you on a couple guys. Which of your offensive linemen has been hit by a car and lived? Um, hold on. Can I, you think about it. Can I get a second? Forest Lamp. Forest Lamp. That's your guess? That's my final answer. <laughs> <laughs> no. Dan Feeney. Dan, you know he's that? never told me that. Never told you no. that? No. It's a true fact. Well, you know what? You got to get to know your teammates a little bit better. Yeah, we'll cut, we'll cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next question. I know it's been a tough year, especially since we've missed our fans, but have you felt the love kind of just from the Charger fans? Yeah, I, I, I try to do my best to kind of stay off social media and try to not to pay too much attention from that. But, uh, you know, I, I know they're out there and I know I know that we can feel it. And, you know, it'd, it'd be great to have them at games. Oh, um, I can't I can't wait till fans are back. But we'll get there one day. I mean, that place is insane. It's unlike anything I've seen before. No so doubt. We're lucky to play in it. Eighth wonder of the world, as I put it. <laughs> That's all it is. You know, are you excited about 2021, just kind of what we've accomplished this year? I know obviously it hasn't been the year that we've wanted, but, you know, how excited are you for 2021? Gosh, I, I think as tough of a year it's been, it's it's been awesome to be able to, to come to work here every day, uh, to get better and to go play football and to play the, the game that I love. Um, I don't think it gets much better than that.